Not to get off his chest, no. Right. He, he actually said he welcomed the opportunity to speak. Yeah. And boy, did we let him speak. And everybody has switched their channels, <laughs> yeah. turned on to us to see it this morning. We let him speak. So let's get right to it because R. Kelly is breaking his silence yes, about the sexual abuse charges that landed him in jail last month. The embattled R&B singer spoke with Gail for nearly 80 minutes yesterday. It is an interview that you will see only on CBS this morning. And he says all the women now accusing him of physical and sexual abuse, he says all of them are lying. That's what he says. Chicago prosecutors have charged Kelly with 10 counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse. Authorities say three of the four alleged victims were underage when the suspected crimes happened. Now, Kelly has pleaded not guilty. Sources tell CBS News federal and state authorities in at least two states, New York and Illinois, are now investigating a variety of allegations. The singer, as you know, has faced intense scrutiny for more than a decade now. It was reignited in January after the Lifetime docuseries Surviving R. Kelly featured interviews with seven accusers and former members of his inner circle. They all say that Kelly preys on vulnerable women and young girls. I am surprised that you agreed to do it. Why are you sitting down with us today? I'm not surprised. I'm very tired of all of the uh, lies. I've been hearing things and, you know, and seeing things on the blogs and, you know, I'm just, I'm just tired. What are the lies that you're hearing that disturb you most? Oh, my God. Um, all of them. Um, got little girls trapped in the basement, helicopters over my house, mm -hmm. um, trying to... Um, rescue someone that doesn't need rescuing because they're not in my house handcuffing people starving people i have a harem uh what you call it a um a coat mm -hmm. i don't even really know what a coat is but I, I know i don't have one you know have you done anything that you regret have you done anything wrong lots of things wrong when it comes to women that i apologize but i apologize see the problem is in his head he does see them as women he does see his victims as women like uh, how can i say this if he was just a grown man having grown relations he knows damn well he would not be facing this scrutiny right now but when he got up with these girls yeah they're women now but they weren't women when you started messing with them so for you to be like, oh, yeah, I've had lots of trouble with women, just normal, you know, man and woman relationship troubles. This is not normal male, female issues. This is something that is sickening. And he just does not get that. He just sees them as women, honestly. That statement says that. He sees these 13 and 14 year olds that he has allegedly abused as women. And that's where the problem is. That's where he's just not getting He's not getting that these are not women. These were young girls that were underage when you first started messing with them. Yeah, they're women now. And that's where he's going to be trying, I think, the whole interview, he's going to be trying to use that little wording and technical wording. And it's just, I already know. I already know what she's doing, but let's see. In those relationships, at the time I was in the relationships. Have you okay. broken any laws when it comes to women? Absolutely not. The six-part series interviewed 50 people, mm -hmm. family members, your former tour manager, numerous women who all claim that you abused them. Yeah. Are you saying everybody in that documentary was not telling the truth about you? Everybody? If, if, if you really look at that documentary, which I'm sure you have. I have. Everybody said something bad about me. Nobody said nothing good. Mm -hmm. They was describing okay. Lucifer. I'm not Lucifer. I'm a man. I make mistakes, but I'm not a devil. And by no means am I a monster. See, he doesn't see himself as a devil because he, in his head, is a god. And let me be clear, I believe in one god. I am, you know. But... In his head, he just thinks that he's just God and he just has his God complex. So, of course, you're not going to see yourself as a devil. You are just so full of yourself. He ain't going to see that. Never. He will never see that. I'm going to name the names. Andrea Kelly, your ex-wife. Kitty Jones. Lisa Van Allen. Lizette Martinez. Geronda Pace. Mm -hmm. Faith Rogers. Asante McGee. You're saying everything they said in that documentary about you is not true. They are lying on me. Why would these women say the same thing about you? 
that you are controlling, that you are abusive, that you tell women when to eat, when to go to the bathroom, when they can sleep, where they can dress. Why would all these women tell these different stories about you if they were not true? And they don't know each other. That defies logic to me. Right, right. Until you hear the explanation. You can start a rumor on a guy Please. like me or a celebrity just like that. All you have to do is push a button on your phone and say. So, yes, it is true. A lot of celebrities are the victim of rumors. The problem with him saying that, that this is just a rumor, is you're not going to have. If it's a rumor with no truth to it at all whatsoever. A rumor is saying Jennifer Aniston is pregnant for the 50th time. Okay, that's a rumor because that's a rumor, okay? I'm going to leave that there. That's a rumor. A rumor is not going to follow you from the 90s, starting with Aaliyah, to the early 2000s, to now 2019 that we am. That's not a rumor. A rumor is going to fade eventually. People are going to be talking on to the next thing. Okay, Jennifer Aniston is pregnant for the 50th time. Oh, it's not true. We're moving on to the very next day. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's your rumor. For him to say this is just a rumor with no basis whatsoever, it's not going to follow you for a span of decades. That's just, like, no. No. That's not a rumor. And he knows that, too. So-and-so did this to me. R. Kelly did this to me. And if you get any traction from that, if, you, if you're able to write a book from that, if you're able to get uh, a, a reality show, then... Don't you think he would have been able to book about this? I, it just didn't work out. She can come and say the same exact thing. Are you blaming this on social media? I'm talking mm -hmm. about the power of social media. In 2008, R. Kelly was found not guilty on 14 counts of child pornography after prosecutors in Chicago failed to convince a jury that he was a man seen in a sex tape with a girl as young as 13. What do you want to say to your fans? Last yes. month, Kelly was indicted again, this time charged with aggravated criminal sexual abuse of four women, including three who the charges say were minors at the time. Have you ever had sex no. with anyone under the age of 17? No. The guy Never. I spoke with. No. Come on. I have to tell you, it's so we hard to believe that based on all that we've read. I'm going to tell you something, Gail. I'm going to tell you something. What women said about you. What women said about me. What women, so nobody's allowed to be mad at me and be yeah. scorned and, and lie on me. Mm -hmm. So they're lying on you. That's your explanation. They're lying on you. Absolutely. 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 You feel that people have maligned your country? I've been assassinated. I have been buried alive, yeah. but I'm alive. So I think the point you're making is, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, that you have never held anybody against their will. I don't need to. That, Why would I? Well, I'm, I'm, How stupid would it never be held for anybody. R. Kelly with all I've been through in my way, way past to hold somebody, let alone four, five, six, fifty, you said. Why, how stupid would I be to do that? I didn't say. See, and that's how you know he's a liar because he's trying to convince the public. Oh, why would I do this? This makes no sense. He knows it makes no sense logically. You still allegedly did it, but you want us to basically like. Oh, see how foolish this is. Oh, this is done. Why would I record these acts that I allegedly did? Why would I record that? Why would I do this? It's not common sense. Yeah, it's not common sense, R. Kelly. It's not common sense. And that's why you're in the situation that you're in. And that's why you're in the hot seat. And that's why you're fighting for your life and so scared about your reputation being tarnished because you know damn well what you did, allegedly, I gotta say, um, makes no sense. You're right. It don't make no sense. I agree with him on that. It don't. It, it makes no sense. For someone of your caliber, you are or were, because I heard he broke. He ain't our kind of broke, but broke for his accomplishments that he's done and wrote in all these, you know, written all these hits. Yeah, he's broke for that. Yes. But you're not broke, bro. But you know what I'm saying? For you to be of this caliber, to have written all these hit songs, 
have collaborated with so many legends, Whitney Houston, worked with Aaliyah, you know, all of these legends that he has worked with, and this is what you're going to be remembered by. And that's tragic for him and his kids, that the legacy that he's going to leave for himself and for his children and for his future grandchildren is this mess that did not make no sense and did not have to happen if he didn't want it to happen. If he would have done the right thing, and maybe he had a problem when this all went down in 08 and got some help and really seeked it and really stuck by the help instead of thinking or yeah, thinking with this God complex that he's just untouchable. And now he sees that that's not true. It's not true. Tell you that's hold it. stupid, guys. I didn't is this it is stupid. On me? Yes, it's all. That's stupid. You You're have right. common sense. It is Don't, stupid. Forget the blogs. Forget how you feel about me. Hate me if you want to. Love me if you want. But just use your common sense. How stupid would it be for me to, with my crazy past and what I've been through, oh, right now I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will, chain them up in my basement. And, and don't let them eat and don't let them out unless they need some shoes down the street from their uncle. Robert, Stop it. Y'all quit playing. Quit playing. Robert. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me. I, I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this. I gave y'all 30 years of my career. Robert. 30 years of my career. Y'all trying to kill me. You're killing me, man. This is not about music. I'm trying to have a relationship with my kids, and I can't do it. What? If your kids genuinely felt in their heart, like, I'm close to both of my parents, and God forbid someone tried to make false allegations that was ruining their reputation, I know in my heart, my parents could not do something like this, okay? So for your kids, I think you got three, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I mean, I don't even care to look or Google, but whatever. <laughs> um, but for your kids, your, your kids are not going to not talk to you over rumor. Just like, God forbid, he was my father and all of this was happening. I will come to my dad, look him in the eye and be like, did you do this? And I will be able to gauge if he's lying or not because that's my dad. So obviously your kids feel like you did do this or they will not be separating themselves for you. Who would want to separate from a legend or who was once a legend? Because he, everything he's done is ruined that, his legacy. He could have been a legend, but he chose to do this, allegedly. <laughs> so, and then for him to have this outburst, why didn't you have this outburst in 08? The reason he didn't have this outburst in the interview in a way is because he knew he was going to beat that case. Because he knew that he had the resources to beat that case. Now, he's R. Kelly broke. I ain't going to say he's my level of broke or your level of broke. Okay? But he's broke for R. Kelly broke. You know, he doesn't have the money that he probably did 10 years ago because of all these things coming out about him. So, why didn't you do this in a way? Why weren't you trying to get the relationship back with your kids then? Why weren't you having these outbursts of, oh, I'm so innocent. Oh, my God. Y'all are trying to ruin me. It's because people in the industry had not separated from him. Other musical artists were still willing you know, to work with him. He was still making his coin, his bank. Okay. Now that that's threatened. Now he's fighting for his life. Why weren't you fighting for your life in 08? Because you knew he was going to be that case. Because you knew what you was doing behind the scenes. He knew what he was doing. So don't try to act and play like you all innocent. Like you didn't know what was going on. Please. No. I ain't believe none of it. Don't believe the hype, girl. At this point, we briefly pause the interview to give Kelly a moment. His I'm sure you did pause it. Him down. If I was God, I'd be like, what the hell? Like, what the hell? Nah, I'd be like, what the hell? Like, right, um, yeah, Albert. No. Why would I hold all these women? Their mothers and fathers told me. Honestly, I think he's coming to a breakdown. But Kelly's emotion. I truly believe, like, I, 
I can't remember what it's called. Like, I really believe he believes his lives. I really, I truly do. Honest to God, looking at this, I truly, I feel sorry for him. Not in a sense like he's a victim, but that he has somehow convinced himself that he's innocent. And that's just sad. Because he'll never want help. Because he'll never be, he'll never think that there's something wrong. And that's why he's in this position. And that's why he keeps being in this position since the 90s. That's uh, and real. It's remained raw. It's real girls out there missing. It's real young girls out there being abducted, being raped, okay? They really are on chains. They really do have chains on their uh, on their wrists and they can't get out. Robert, and they're ending up buried in deep. Robert, we have to have a conversation. This is really. not I, I don't want you just ranting at the camera. He okay. doesn't want I came to here be. for them to hear me okay, talk. But I need mean? help. What kind of help? This is the kind of help I need. Yes, what kind of help? I need somebody to help me not have a big heart because my heart is so big. People betray me and I keep forgiving them. You sound like you're playing the victim here. You sound like R. Kelly, you do. When I listen to I'm you, just it does telling sound the like truth. you're playing the victim. I'm just card. telling the truth. And the reason I'm emotional Robert, and I apologize you, for that no, is no, because no, this no. is the first time I was able to, to say speak. something. Yeah. I've said nothing. Gail, you um, remained tough and calm throughout that. Alright guys, that's the clip I'm gonna watch for right now, um, unless you guys request more, I hear, well, they said it's an 80 minute video interview, so I'm sure he had some more outbursts in there somewhere, <laughs> I'm sure, um, but just my last thoughts on the situation, I just think it's sad, you know, 10 years ago, I looked up to him as a songwriter, um, this was before I knew all about the Aaliyah situation, you know, I was very young, didn't know any better. I just think it's sad that he could have had a legacy. He could have been the king of R&B if he had taken the steps to do the right thing. And it's just not in him, honestly. Like, after seeing Survivor R. Kelly and how his brother, I think his name is Carrie, um, and how he tried to basically insinuate that he was the one in that video clip with those young girls, that says a lot of it. But how can you even put your brother in that situation when you knew damn well that was not factual? He's got a sick mind, honestly. That's just my opinion. I think it's sad. I, I don't think it's a laughing matter. I don't think anything about this is comical. Not for the victims. Not that a lot of the victims' parents aided in them being able to become victims because of a check. I think that's disgusting, and I think that they need to face consequences, and I hope they will. And I think R. Kelly is having these outbursts and is doing all of this, putting on a show. Because in 08, he knew he wasn't... He knew he wasn't going to be convicted because of what he was doing behind the scenes, or at least, you know, what they put out in the media, what he was doing behind the scenes paying off victims and all of that stuff allegedly and now his back really truly is up against the wall and now he's scared and now he sees oh my god wow, I really did do this wow I really am being persecuted by everybody wow I really am losing money now I really am losing you know my legacy status wow people really don't like me anymore he's seeing all of this now his back is against the wall and he's scared now. And he should be because they're coming for him. They're coming for him full force. But alrighty guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it's not too long. I'll see you after I edit. And peace.